Hi everyone. Um, so this is the first lesson of um, learning to read and write in Hebrew. Um, so I'm going to give a quick overview of the Hebrew reading before I start. So the Hebrew alphabet has 22 letters, five of which are written in a different form when they appear at the end of a word. In Hebrew, all letters represent consonants. Vowels are sounds added to a consonant or letter are written using symbols which appear under, on top or to the left of the consonants. So Hebrew has two sets of letters, uh, print which is block and script. So in these lessons we're going to be learning print, the block. Hebrew has no capital letters. Hebrew is read from right to left. Um, and I'm going to give a quick overview of Hebrew vowels. So each vowel sound may be represented by two or more different signs. Most of the signs are a set of small dots. They are not an integral part of the alphabet. The Hebrew words, the Hebrew vowel system is called Nakud, mean, which means dotting. The vowel signs are written underneath the letter, above or to its left. Vowels, with very few exceptions, are not added to the last letter of the word. Okay, so in today's lesson, we're going to look at the consonant B. To write with this. So this is the letter B, and the consonant name is called the Bet. So if you ever go writing it, and just say a sound as you write this, so ba, 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 and then I want you to have a write it, write it again and say the name of the consonant, so Bet, Bet, Bet. So bet is the second letter in the alphabet. The line on the bottom part of the letter is sticking out to the back. So there's a little bit coming out. Um, so now add in the A sound. Right, so vowels. Um, the symbol for the, for the vowel we're going to do first, we're going to do the A vowel. Which sounds as A. So the symbol for the A vowel sound always appears under the letter. The A vowel sound is represented in Hebrew by any of the three different symbols below, all of which include a horizontal line. So the A vowel can be written in three ways. Um, a dash, a little t, or dash with two dots. So the A vowel in Hebrew always sounds like A in the word father, so it always sounds as A. So each of these would give the sound as R, ah, and they'd all be found underneath a Hebrew letter. I just want to make a note, this one, which, uh, this is the patach, the kamats, this is patach, and you've got a shua. This one's usually more common, commonly found at the start of a Hebrew word. Sometimes it can be in the middle, but these are the most common ones you'll find used the most. Um, so how do you read? Well, first, you make the sound of the consonant which we know is B. And second, you say the sound of the vowel. So you'd look at consonant first, then vowel. So the back for you, you know it's the B, the sound. And then you put the sound of the vowel, which is all these, uh, the R sound. So put it together and you'd get ba. Oh, so you read. Um, so we'll give you an example. If you add this, it would read as ba, ba, ba. If you add this one, it would read as bab. Because it's B, the A vowel, A, and the B. There's no vowel under this, would be bab. Okay, so a syllable is one motion of the mouth. So if you say the word hat, you move your mouth once, therefore the word hat is one syllable. If you say the word banana, banana, you move your mouth three times, therefore the word banana has three syllables. So the number of vowels in a word is equal to the number of syllables. If a Hebrew word has two vowels, then the word has two syllables. Okay, so let me just give a quick example of that.
So that would this has one this word has one vowel, which means it has one syllable because you move your mouth only once. Because B A B Bab. Um and another example. This word has two vowel two vowels, which means it has two syllables because you move your mouth twice. Ba ba. So the best way to read Hebrew is to separate the words into syllables, and that does really help a lot, guys. Right, so exercise one. Right, I want you to have a go of reading this line. Okay, so this would be consonant first, B, the A vowel, Ba, consonant first, the vowel Ba, Ba, so Ba, 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 and this one, consonant B, vowel A, B, Bab. Okay, so for the next exercise, I wanted to write out the three forms of the vowel A. So can you remember the three symbols for the A vowel? So dash, little t, dash and two dots. Right, I want you to write the consonant, bet. Can you write the B, the bet? Okay, now I want you to have a go writing the Hebrew to match the sound. So I'll tell you the sounds and I want you to write the Hebrew with a vowel underneath to match it. So the first sound I want you to find is ba. Then I want you to f to write ba ba. Bab. And ba bab. Okay, so I'll start with ba. So first you'd want to get the B sound, you know it starts with a B. You've got the A vowel, so ba. The second one, ba ba. Ba ba. If you want to get uh, bab, ba on the song, ba ba. And you can use any one of the vowels underneath to get the sound. You could put, it could be the T or the dash. And to get bar bab, you'd need B first with no vowel underneath. But B again, you need the R sound and another B. So that one would read but bar bab. Bar, bar. Right, well done, guys. You now know one consonant and three of the A vowels. So next week, I'll post, um, no, Thursday, sorry. I'll, um, post lesson two and we'll be looking at the letter r the resh all right if we need to go back over anything we just watch the video again but before the next lesson if you could try and just keep practicing the b and learn the symbols for the a vowels that'll really help you a lot all right bye guys